Right, welcome back everybody to Kingdom Come Deliverance. So let's have a look at where we are to remind ourselves. So we currently have find out if anyone knows anything about Limpy Labosh after we messed up Father Godwin and uh, giving the sermon. I a little unfairly, I think. It was sort of like, hey, do you want this wordy option or this sort of moderate option or this other option? And gave you no indication that the length of the speech would impact the content of the speech. So I felt a little hard done by by that quest. But never mind. Such is life. Uh, our other quest is vengeance. So find the guy that stole the sword, basically. Uh, courtship, which I'm not really going to worry about. Visit the scribe to learn how to read. Now, we sort of found him once, but he implied that it would take quite a bit of time, and we don't necessarily have a lot of time because we're on a quest, so I'll come back to him later. Um, we paid off the miller, so I don't have to go back to him for a job, and we still have to try and find those nightingales that escaped. But for now, I think we'll stick to looking around the town, trying to find any other leads, other than the, um, the priest who now won't tell us anything. I'm not too sure really where to start. Innkeeper? Jesus Christ be praised. You could turn around and talk to me, you know. Um, I've come in the name of Sir Hanisha. I don't know nothing about it, but you can ask all you want. I'm sure we've asked him this before, but... That man Lubosh who was murdered, what was he like? I didn't really know him. He kept to himself. Even in the tavern. Do you know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? I was coming from the tavern very late that night, and I caught a glimpse of someone entering the village. He looked like he was in a hurry. It was only a shadow against the sky, but after what happened, I wouldn't wonder. Right. That's all. Thank you. On we go, trying to find someone else of random assistance. I'm pretty sure I've already asked her, but we'll try again just to make sure. I've come in the name of Sir Hanish of Lyper. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhoff, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? I don't know how I can help you, but ask if you must. Who was this Lubosch who was murdered? You could see at first glance he was no good. I kept well out of his way. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? There wasn't sight or sound of him for a long time. And then yesterday, he turned up at the church and even talked to the parish priest. I never saw him do that before. Probably had a bad conscience. Do you know what Lubosch was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? I don't think he was home. I didn't see him all day. That's all. Thank you. Hmm. Who else can we talk to in this town that we haven't spoken to already? I mean, I think we tried the scribe. Trader? I think of people that might know more than the average villager. Good day to you. No, nope, already spoken to him. God be with you. Now, what do you trade? Antidote, didn't see that in the other one. Fade? I'm sure I saw somewhere that spades were quite difficult to come across and quite useful to have, so I'm tempted to actually just buy one. Let's see what rubbish can we sell. Not 
wearing half my gear at the moment. That's not good. We'll go back and fix that in a minute. Let's talk about the price. Hmm. All right, sir. Since it's you, that's not enough. See now, I knew we'd come to an agreement. Actually, let's equip it outside just in case the shop guard here has an issue with me. Right, armor. My weapons? No, I don't have my weapons either. Great. Um, I, mean, I guess we could go see what this is. Unexplored place, the other side of the church. Whatever that quest giver is. Oh. Where's that? Oh no. Alright, Godwin. I see you know how to wield a sword, Father. I wouldn't have expected that from a man of the cloth. With a stick. I practice with a stick. A reminder of my youth and days gone by. And it helps keep me in good form. Do you have any work that needs doing? My dear lad, I have more worries than I can bear. Another pair of shoulders would ease my burden. I have to deal with a local witch. A witch? The herb woman, old Gertrude. That devious hag who will stoop to anything. Like all herbalists, for that matter. Oh, don't tell me. The cows are giving blood instead of milk, and babies are being born with two heads and a tail. This is no laughing matter. Gertrude isn't evil. She just has peculiar ideas about what's good for people. A little bird told me she incited some Ujets women to witchery. Oh, do I really want to go along with this? <sighs> A little bird told you, did it? You know how good people are at seeing the splinter in another's eye and not the beam in their own. In other words, someone's been gossiping. And what's the problem? As long as herb women stick to giving psychic to folk and bloated cows, assisting in childbirth, or burning incense in bedrooms to help with sleep, then nothing at all. But this, this is sacrilege. And it's unsafe. All sorts of molds and lichens and poisonous plants and other foul things go into those concoctions. I'd hate to see her poison some poor gullible lass. What do you want me to do? I want you to go and see her and find out what she's been up to. I know she lives in fear of the Holy Church, so tell her I sent you. That will make her talk and think twice about encouraging witchcraft. If you learn that she truly did involve folk in some foolishness, find out all you can and deal with it. Uh, go on then. I might learn alchemy. Good. And never fear. I'm a man who always pays his debts. You'll find Gertrude, the old herb woman, in the woods. Now, are those debts going to be helpful to me in the way I want, or just some pathetic amount of coin? Um, right. In the woods where? Okay, let's turn those two off and that one for now.
Over there. Okay. Before that, I'm going to have a quick look around the church. Can't find any clues. No. What was the question mark over here, I wonder? Further up. Oh, gross, though. Because there isn't already one of those. To see the witch. Well, I'm sure it won't be anywhere like as bad as he's making out, but who knows? It's this way, isn't it? Follow the road west out of town. Oh joy, it's going in the woods. I'm sure that will be nice and safe. What is that? random sort of marking on the trail. Mm. I'll avoid going off randomly into the woods. Uh-oh. unarmed like a monk even I will leave him be chasing me yeah he's chasing me given the condition of my shield I'm a bit reluctant to get into a brawl at the moment This will be her then.
I've come in the name of Sahanish of Lipa. I'm investigating the massacre in Neuhof, and now a murder here as well. Can I ask you a few questions? Ask all you want, lad. Who was this Lubosh who was murdered? Those that live by the sword die by the sword. I'm not surprised the end he came to. Have you noticed anything suspicious recently? Everything about him was suspicious. I always gave him a wide berth. Do you know what Lubos was doing the day Neuhoff was raided? How would I know? Do you know who Lubos used to spend time with? Kin or friends? I don't know, since I don't go to alehouses. She comes up with uh, short answers, but good ones. That's all. Thank you. I've come from the priest. They're saying you incited some women to witchcraft. Me? Witchcraft? That's nothing but idle chatter. Hmm, I want to use that one. But I don't think it's going to work very well. You'd be wise to give me a straight answer. I mean you no harm. As long as it's the truth you speak. Very well. I'll tell you everything. I've done a very foolish thing. It's preying on my mind so much I can't sleep a wink. But I'm supposed to believe an old witch has pangs of conscience. Laugh if you like, but it's not a word of a lie. You probably know I sell various magic lotions and potions alongside my herbs. Well, there's one I wish I hadn't sold. You see... Vera, Zlata, and Kuta from Ujits wanted a magic ointment from me. I kept refusing them, but in the end, I let them talk me into it. Oh. Uh, what kind of ointment was it? One that will show you a world no one else can see. A place of wonder and terror. The flowers might start talking to you. Or the earth could swallow you up. I don't know if it's the work of the devil or of God himself, but the ointment has that power. But it could poison any person who doesn't know how to use it right. So all this talk of witches anointing themselves and then flying to their sabbaths on broomsticks... The ointment could make a person see such things. But it was stupid of me letting those foolish women get their hands on it. They could poison themselves or fall off a cliff while they're lost in a dream. Oh boy, I can see so many ways this is going to end badly. And possibly in a way where I have to um, put the away screen up. <laughs> Will you give me the ointment recipe? It contains belladonna in the herb Paris both quite poisonous plants. That ought to make you think twice about dabbling with it. So why did you give them the ointment at all? Because I'm soft-hearted. You see, one of those women, Vera, lost her whole family in Skalitz. And Zlata's husband was killed. And the youngest of them, Kuta, miscarried with the horror of it all. They said they wanted to use the ointment to speak with the dead and ask them to put a word in with the Lord. Yeah. I understand how they feel. But I reckon it'll get them nowhere but the ducking stool and the stake. Judge not, lest ye be judged. I didn't want to give them the ointment, but they offered me a pile of groschen. So I thought how desperate they must be, and I heard their plea. Their plea, or the clink of their coin? Hmm. I've heard enough. If you've heard enough, you must understand why I need your help. Find out from those women what they intend, and watch over them to keep them safe. All right, let's go. I guess by better judgment, I think it will be interesting. Very well. But only because the priest himself asked me to. Thank you a thousandfold. 
I'll go to the Reverend myself and explain. You take care of those women. And where are they? Guessing A, B, and C? What will she teach me alchemy? Armor potion. Oh, uh, armor potion. Uh, if I can read. Grasses and herbs three. Lots of recipes. Hair of the dog potion. Recipe for poison. Well, it's probably quite a handy thing to learn. Uh, yeah, it's, someone in chat's asking, is this basically a sandbox medieval game? It pretty much is. The first six hours, maybe, are quite linear in that it follows you along a storyline as it tries to teach you the game um it's very heavily narrated it's all lots of cutscenes after that you kind of get thrown into freedom to do what you like why is that minus 110 oh that's the health it reduces it's not a minus well it is but so, oh, that's a good way to um, poison people's food if you want them to die in the night. Good to know. Good to know. How much will she charge me to learn alchemy? Would you teach me something about medicinal herbs? Certainly. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Isn't that quite a lot? Satisfied? Well now, a little more and we'll shake on it. Agreed. Now, listen up. All right, I've reached level in herbalism. So, skills. I haven't done this drinking one. Herbalism. Now that'd be good. All right, off we go. Visit the three women and see what craziness they're causing. Probably run into those crazy people on the path on the way. doing food wise nourishment's 84 I'm fine yeah that looks like a perfect ambush point and a half doesn't it interest can I draw my bow on horseback looks like it good to know
There was someone up here trying to attack me, and if I can just shoot him off horseback. Make things a lot easier. Well, it looks like we got through safely. I'll put the weapon away again. them out for better order. That thief. What did he steal then, mister? You showed him. Thank you, that thieving magpie. You can't trust anyone these days. Ahem. <clears throat> and just so you know, I'm no pinch purse. Here's a small reward. Thanks. Now, I would loot the guy's body, but um, we're kind of visible, so... Mm. We'll just leave him there. This house just here. Come in the next Sir Hanush gives a job like that to a young No, I've already spoken to him. That's all. Thank you. Alright, so I can't go in the house and she's in the house. Can I do anything to help? No. Get your wife. Hmm? Guess it is that time of day. I'm gonna try once more though. I've come in the name of Sir Hanish of Light. I don't know how I can help you. That's all. Thank you. Yes, that's not the one I'm looking for then. Nope, that is. I've heard something about a magical ointment. What? Who told you that? Was someone asking around? Gertrude sent me. And what did she say? Does she want to add something to the ointment? No. She's worried about what you'll do with it. It's quite dangerous stuff. Uh, let's try the top one. What I've heard already amounts to a burning offence. Burning? Burning at stake, you mean? Yes, burning you alive. If you're planning anything that looks like witchcraft. To hell with it. Let them burn us if they will. God has forsaken us. Everyone's dying. We've lost everything. Lucifer is our last hope. Do you want to turn us in? But I'm not here to judge you. I know what it's like to lose loved ones. I just want to make sure you don't do anything foolish. Foolish? 
You think what's going on around here is foolery. We won't just stand idly by and nobody can stop us.